My name's Gun de Kort. I'm 29 years old and I'm from the Netherlands, originally Gouda, but um, I now live in Girona in Spain. Well, I became a cyclist. Um, I just liked watching it on TV at first, and then um, the Tour de France started in the Netherlands, in Setogombos, close to where I grew up, and um, I just really, really liked it. I, I watched it every day, and I thought, no, oh, maybe I should try this as well. And then, you know, the first race, I just throw away one, so, you know, then sort of things got rolling, and I just enjoyed riding my bike. I think my biggest achievement for me personally now is I've done all three Grand Tours, finished all three, and got a top ten in the States in all three. So I guess that's, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, but it must have been when my dad was watching it on TV. I mean, he's always been into cycling. He, he never really rode a bike himself, but he always watched it. So uh, uh, it's probably one of the classics or either the Tour de France, maybe, that, that I saw on TV. I can't really remember quite right, but I know it was that. It was just... And watching TV at my parents' house. I've, a couple of times I've gone over 100 kilometers an hour. I'm not exactly sure what the highest speed was. It's, it's somewhere around 105. So. I think I, I think I'd be probably like a doctor. I think I, I always wanted to do that, and then I decided to study human movement sciences. So. Yeah, uh, it, it sort of combined well with the with the sport, and maybe if I wouldn't have been able to become professional cyclist, then I would have continued on and and become a doctor. Uh, well, I, I said earlier, Hugh Hefner is is quite you know it's always um, it's always funny when people ask you for your idol, and you know I just go well, just try to make something nice. I, I, I do like Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he's got a he's got a nice house. So. It's it's a it's a tough question because you know there's there's so many guys in in a cycling race so it's not like there's there's like one rival I can I can pick out that's that's my biggest rival I and mean, I guess it's sometimes like a, a couple of teams that you don't want to win or something like that maybe it's more like that it's not that I've got a something personally against someone no. See um. I mean, in, in Spain, it's it's really good. Uh, I've got no no problems at all. Like, you know, sometimes uh, people are just a little bit, you know, um, uh, they don't really want to wade behind us, and they just beep the horn a little bit, and and it, it's normal. It's not really abuse, but um, every year, about three months in Australia, and and it gets quite bad there. You know, it's training in the city in Melbourne, and you know, you just get given the finger and that sort of stuff quite often. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I, I used to have a really nice Alpha uh, GT. Uh, I really loved that car. And then in Spain, uh, well, you probably know what it's like, just parking it in the street. And I just, I just couldn't handle it anymore. So I sold it and bought it Peugeot 206. <laughs> a nice old Peugeot 206, like every second person has. <laughs> it's actually two years ago. I think that was probably my, my worst thing. My worst crash in cycling, I was in the Paru Bay. I crashed it just before we actually got on the cobblestone. So you think crashing on the cobblestone, but it was just before, and I crashed right on my knee, and I had a big gap in my knee. I could see the kneecap. That was quite, um, quite painful. Yeah, there's there's just a lot of different um, different specialties in the in the team. So it's it's hard to say who the best cyclist is because one would be best at climbing and another one would be best at sprinting but I think if I have to pick up one now it would be Marcel Kittel because he's just won so many races and you know, he's a top class guy and, and cyclist so I guess that helps as well. Because of, um, well so obviously everything around it, I, li I like just the training, I like you know, just uh, how it is in a team. Uh, I like to you know, do the races as well and the speed and all that sort of stuff, but I just like the, the life I have as well, so I think, uh, I think that's probably why. <laughs>